Let's bow our heads as we pray. The all-created creator, the maker and the sustainer of all things, we thank you for this privilege you have given unto us to gather together, to hear you speak to us, and to also receive from you our heart desires. Father, we thank you for the prayer section. We thank you for the prayer section. Lord, we thank you for this section that we are now. It is time, O oh God, for you to speak to us. I stand before your people as your messenger. And God, as we look into your world, Father, look into our lives. And let your word come to pass in the life of your people. In the name of God the Father. God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let the people of God say louder, Amen. The theme for our message is my appointed time. My appointed time. My appointed time. Your appointed time. Our appointed what? Time. The text for this message is taken from Psalm 102. Verse 13. Psalm 102, verse 13. You will arise. Who is going to arise? The Almighty God will arise. The psalmist said, God, for my sake, you are going to do what? Arise. The person that is going to arise for your sake and for my sake is not a man. He is the almighty God. The maker of all things. This God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He will never die. He will never change. He will never fade away. What he did yesterday, he will do it today. He is the God of mercy. He is the God of goodness. He is the God of favor. He is the God of power. All power belongs to this God. And he is going to arise today for the sake of somebody. He will arise this week for the sake of somebody. He will arise this year for the sake of somebody. Lift up your hand and shout hallelujah. What will he arise to do? He will arise to deliver you. He will arise to heal you if you are sick. He will arise to take over your battle. Whatever battle, this God is the God of battle. That battle is not greater than God. That problem is not greater than God. He will arise to fight for you. 
He will arise to destroy that enemy. He will arise to save your soul. He will arise to heal your body. He will arise to set you free. He will arise to turn your pain into gain. He will arise to turn your sorrow into joy. He will arise to turn your poverty into prosperity. Lift up your hand and shout hallelujah. You will arise and have compassion on Zion. Who will this God have compassion on? You and I. Zion is the people of God. Zion Stands for the church. Zion stands for the congregation of the people of God. And I know that I am standing before the church of God. I am standing before the people of God. And God is saying to us this week that he is going to have compassion. He will not destroy you. He will show you mercy. He will show you compassion. He will show you compassion. He will show you mercy. The almighty God is here today to show you mercy. To show you compassion. For it is time. Somebody say it is time. It is time. For God to show his people compassion. It is time for God to have mercy upon his people. It is time for God to show his people his favor. God is going to show you his favor. The appointed time for God to show you his compassion. For the appointed time for you to experience the favor of God has come. It has come. It has come. Lift up your hand and shout hallelujah. You are a carrier of favor. You are a carrier of God's mercy. You are a carrier of God's goodness. The light of God will continue to shine upon your life. Your life will get better and better. Because this is your set time. This is your season. In the name of Jesus. Today... God will arise. For your sake, he will arise. For the sake of your family, he will arise. And your enemies will scatter. The Bible says, let God arise. And his enemies be warned. God will arise. And that covenant will scatter. God will arise. That evil gathering against the church of God will scatter. God will arise. And those who are against your life, they will scatter. This is the word of God. God will arise and your enemies will scatter. Today, God will have compassion. He will have compassion on you. He will have compassion on your family. The time to show, the time to show you favor has come. It has come. Today is the appointed time of some of you that are hearing the sound of my voice. Today is your day. 
The trouble will not pass today. That pain will not pass today. The sickness will not pass today. Today, God is changing your story. The Lord is doing something new. I tell you, God's presence is in this place. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is here. As we preach and pray for you, your life will not remain the same. Let me hear it louder. Amen. The time to show you favor has come. Today is the appointed time for some of us in this divine encounter. I pray you will be one of them. In the name of Jesus. This psalm is a prayer of a suffering person. It's a prayer offered to God by a man, by a child of God. Somebody that believed in the Lord. Asking God for help. Asking God for deliverance. Asking God to do something new in his life. The God who answered the prayer of the psalmist, the writer of this psalm, will also answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. Whatever challenge, whatever suffering, whatever pain, whatever problem you may be passing through, the Almighty God will solve that problem for you in the name of Jesus. The almighty God is always on time. God is never late. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying this morning? God is never late. God is never late. This God is never late. He always keeps to time. He has appointed times for each event in the life of every of his children. My time may not be your time. Your own time may not be my time. But God has time for every event in the life of every of his children. And I believe that this season may be your season. This season is your own season. In the name of Jesus. God Almighty has time for every of his children. And I want you to understand that this message is for those that believe. This season is for those that believe. I believe that it is God that put this thing in the mind of his servants. And as we look at it, God will confirm his word. His word will come to pass. In the name of Jesus, say a better amen. Your appointed time may not be my appointed time. And that is why some prayers, some answers to our prayers are delayed. And remember, you know very well that delay does not mean deny. We know the story of Abraham and his wife. For over 20 years, no child. But at the appointed time, the word of God says that this woman, Sarah, took him and she gave birth to a son named Isaac. At the appointed time, 
The angel of the Lord said to Abraham, I will return to you according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. God visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord gave a child to this couple after many years of waiting upon the Lord. This same God will answer your prayer. Whatever you are looking for, the Lord will give it to you. God is the giver of children. Silver and gold belong to God. He is the giver of wealth. He is the giver of long life. He is the giver of good health. Whatever you are believing God for, the Lord will do it for you. I said the Lord will do it for you. Yes, you may, you may not have a child now. That does not mean that you will not have children. God will not only give you one. He will give you children. I said the Lord will give you children. You may not have enough money now. But hear me, God, very soon he will make you a millionaire. You may not be a graduate now. That does not mean that you will not be a graduate tomorrow. The God we serve can do anything. He will make way for you where there is no way. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? You may be sick today. That sickness is not permanent. It's not permanent. It will go. It will go. You will enjoy good health. In the name of Jesus. In Exodus chapter 3 from verse 7. God told Moses. I have heard the prayer of my people. After about 400 years, God said, I have heard the prayer of who? Of my people. I have seen their affliction. I have seen their oppression. Who is that devil that is oppressing your life? Who is that enemy? Who is that Pharaoh that says you will not go free? Who is that witch and who is that wizard that says you will not marry? That says you will not give birth to children? That says you will not prosper? Who is that devil that is saying that you will not see your children's children? We are here to tell you that the God that we serve will deliver you from the hand of Pharaoh. The God that we serve will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. Thank God the Bible didn't end there. That the Lord delivered him from them all. Whatever affliction that is upon your life. In the name that is above every other name. That affliction will give way to them. That thing that is causing you shame. God will remove it from your life. Never you think that God is not hearing your prayer. God said to Moses, tell them that I have heard their cry. I am here to tell you that the Lord has heard your cry. God said, I've seen their cry. And I have come. When God visits a man, his life can never remain the same. God is here to take over your battle. 
God is here to wipe away your tears. God is here to change your story. God told Moses, I have come to deliver my people. To take them to the promised land. You are about to enter your promised land. God is about to set somebody free. No devil can stop God from setting you free. Pharaoh said to Moses, who is that God? Who is that God? I don't know him and I will not allow you to go. Hear me, child of God, whether the devil likes it or not. Today is your day. As you say amen to every prayer, it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. You can come to divine encounter and remain the same. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? You cannot come to this house of God and remain the same. The Bible says the house of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run it into it and he is saved. Today is your day of salvation. Today is your day of healing. Today is your day of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Any enemy that says you will not go free, that enemy will die. Pharaoh said, I will not let the people of Israel go. They will remain slaves. They will serve me forever. Who is that man that is saying you will not go free? Whatever power that is holding you captive, that power will release you today. You can serve man forever. You can serve man forever. You can remain a slave forever. Today is your day of freedom. The Bible says, whosoever that God is set free, that person is free in death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God killed Pharaoh because of his disobedience. Because he did not want the children of God to go free, God decided to do what? To kill him. Anyone that is pursuing you, Anyone that is after your marriage, anyone that is after your children, anyone that is planning to pull you down, Holy Ghost. My appointed time. My appointed time. Please be seated. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. Can somebody read that place for us? Oh. For the revelation awaits any appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. The problem some of us have is that we don't want to wait. That's your dream, that's your revelation. 
That vision that the Lord has given to you, that dream that the Lord has given to you, it will surely come to pass. The only thing that you need to do is to wait for it. It will certainly come. No devil can stop it. It will not delay. Can somebody say amen? amen. Wait for it. Maybe God don't reveal, give you, say you go marry. You go get children. You go travel out of this country. Where whatever God has revealed to you that is good, no enemy can stop it. All you need to do is to wait. Some of us don't know how to wait. Wait. Some of us are too in hurry. We are in hurry. Wait, because your time is not the same with the time of God. Wait for him. If husband not come now, go just go for Niketo. Wait. I'm looking for job, no job yet. I will go and join a bad guy. Wait. The job is coming. Sister, wait. Your husband is coming. Your husband is coming. Wait. Eh, I hear say one babalawo. Then one place. Once he just give you one thing drink, he go just get belly. Wait. Tell your neighbor wait. Wait. That revelation. That vision, that your dream, that thing that the Lord has promised you, it will surely come to pass. Wait. Tell your neighbor again, wait. Church, we need to wait for the appointed time. Whatever God says he will do in your life, he will surely come to pass at the appointed time. There is appointed time for everything. Says Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. There is appointed time for everything. Your friend can marry before you. Your friend can even have children before you. That does not mean that you will not marry. And that does not mean you will not have children. Your friend can build a house before you. He can buy a car before you. That does not mean you will not have your own. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Wait! Wait. There is time for everything. God does not look at the time of man. He has his own time. Hallelujah. Your appointed time, times, are in the hands of God Almighty. Can you please show us Psalm 31 verse 15. Your appointed time are in the hands of God Almighty. And he will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. Look at it. My times are in your hands. The hands of who? Church, talk to me. The hands of who? My times are not in the hand of any man. My destiny is not in the hand of any man. God can use man to help me. God can use me to help others. But the truth is that my destiny, your destiny, is in the hands of who? My times are in your hands. 
Deliver me from the hands of my enemies. You don't need a prophet to tell you that you have enemies. You don't need a prophet. We all have enemies. Enemies in the church. Enemies where you stay. Enemies in your village. There are enemies everywhere. But the God we serve, he will deliver us. My times are in your hands. The time that you will marry is in the hand of God. The time that you will give birth to children is in the hand of God. The time when your promotion will come is in the hands of God. Man may delay, man may try to sit on your promotion, but when the time comes, God will remove that man and your promotion will come. Somebody shout amen. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies. From those who pursue me. Any man that is pursuing your life will fall. God will deliver you from their hands. They will fall and rise no more. Goliath boasted for some days. But when the right time comes for him to die, David appeared. And David said, Who are you? You are circumcised. Who are you? Today, God will destroy your enemy. It doesn't matter the size of that your enemy. He may be the head of the wishes and wizards in your family. God is greater than him. If God be for us, who can be against us? We don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. If he killed Goliath, he will kill that your enemy. If he destroyed Pharaoh, he will destroy that your enemy. He's the mighty man in battle. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. Take note of the scriptures. Know that your times are in the hands of God. Akimetele, Akile Ruhume, Akena Tele, Otele, Otele, Akena Tele, Akile Ruhume. Herod in the New Testament, he killed John. God didn't say anything. Peter was arrested. Put in prison. The church prayed. And God delivered him. God was just waiting for the appointed time. God just the wait for the day to come when he go take kill Herod. That your enemy, if he does not repent, if he fails to repent, watch what is going to happen to him. I tell you, if he fails to repent, if he says you will not enjoy life, that things will never work out for you. God is about to visit that enemy.
In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse, chapter 12, verse 21. The word of God says, On appointed day, Herod, the enemy of the church, was struck down by God. He was eaten by worms. And he died. Immediately because Herod did not give praise to God. An angel of the Lord struck him down. And he was eaten by worms. And died. Appointed time. For your enemy... For our enemies, God has an appointed time. The time to bless you is now. And the time to deliver you from the hands of your enemies is now. The Bible says God killed Herod. Peace come come the church. The word of God says, and the church had peace. And there was growth. Those who are after Christians, God is coming for them. Yeah. Except they repent, God is coming. And when God will arise, no man will be able to stop him. Hebrews 9, verse 27. Okay. Just as people are destined to die once, and after that, to face what? Judgment. I know some people will not like this. <laughs> because many people are afraid of... Uh... But the Bible says it is appointed for man wants to do what? And after that comes what? For those of us who are born again, we are not afraid of death. The only thing is that I will not die before my time. I will live to fulfill my destiny. And when it is time for me to go and meet my maker, I know that his judgment will favor me. Because the judge is my God. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yes, the church is your savior. It's your God. That day he will only tell us, well done, well done, my good and faithful servant. Here is the kingdom that is prepared for you. That day will be a day of joy, a day of commendation for those of us who are serving God faithfully. And that day will be a day of condemnation to those who don't believe in the Lord. It is appointed for man who wants to do what? To that. I want to conclude with what Jesus said in Mark. Mark. Mark chapter 1 verse 15. The appointed time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the good news. I want to say that this is an appointed time for those of us who are not born again to become born again. Jesus said, this is the appointed time. Can I still preach, church? <laughs> this is the appointed time. Repent and believe the good news. Because if you don't repent, you cannot enjoy the blessings of the Lord. There are people in this house this morning. There are people outside this morning who have not given their life to Christ. 
Even though we come to this great cathedral, even though we hear the word of God from time to time in this divine encounter, even with all the miracles that God is performing in this place, some people still come to this place to steal. As we are here seated, there are people in this place who are living in the scene of sensual immorality. Today is your appointed time. The amen don't low. Yeah. You still like me so. If there is anything that you are doing that is not good, today is the appointed time. Leave that thing. Leave that thing. There are two things I want to touch them. We will pray. Two things. Number one, as we wait for God's appointed time, we should learn to obey the word of God. Disobedience to the word of God can delay your appointed time. Somebody hear what I'm saying? We should learn to obey the word of God. If we don't obey the word of God, that can delay our set time. Number two, as we talk about my appointed time, we need faith to wait for God's appointed time. For lack of faith can delay our appointed time. Dear people of God, today, God will do something in your life. Yeah. Hold strong your faith. Obey the word of God and wait for what God will do for you. Let's stand to our feet as we pray. Thank you. Are you ready to pray now? Are you ready to pray? Midese konyobe mi de se coño ve, 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 When I call he hear me When I call he hear me Oh my God hear me Hear me oh hear me my rest in my hands. Say this after me, my God and my Father. My God and my Father. 
I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word. I thank you because this is my set time. Thank you because this is my set time. This is my appointed time. Time for you to show me compassion. Time for you to show me compassion. Time for me to enjoy your favor. Time for me to enjoy your favor. Time for me to receive healing. Time for me to receive healing. Time for me to receive my miracle. Time for me to receive my miracle. Time for me to receive salvation. Time for me to receive salvation. Oh God. Oh God. Today. Today. I put my faith. I put my faith. In you, answer my prayer. Answer my prayer. Answer my prayer. Answer my prayer. Open your mouth now. Begin to yes, pray. Lord. Open your I mouth. Put my trust Open in your you. mouth. Oh, Whatever God, you say, answer my with prayer. your mouth, Jesus. God will do it for I you. Put myself in yes, your Lord. Presence. Yes, sir, I put prayer. my trust in you. I put my trust in you. I put my Jesus. trust in you. Do not I put my away. trust in you. I put my trust in I you. I put my trust put in you. I trust in you. God today. Jesus. Heal me I today. Put my trust in you. Deliver me today. Deliver me today. Give me miracle today. Save my soul today. Save my soul today. Save that my child Jesus today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Give me financial breakthrough. Lord, do something in my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer point number two, say this after me, oh God. Oh God. The time for you to disgrace my enemies. The time for you to disgrace my enemies. Has come. Has come. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Shout it. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. And let my enemies scatter. And let my enemy be scattered. Turn it into prayer now. Oh God, arise or disgrace my enemy. Turn it into and prayer. Let my enemy be scattered. The enemies God of your life. Arise. Of Jesus. your ministry. Arise. Of your business. Arise. Of your marriage. Disgrace my enemy. Oh God, arise. Scatter them all. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Every hero. Every pharaoh. Every Goliath. We command you to fall. We command you to scatter. Jesus. We destroy your powers. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the almighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. As we continue in this program. Yes, Lord. Let your power flow. Amen. Let your people be healed. Amen. Let deliverance take place. Amen. God, let people, oh God, at the end of this program, come to share testimonies. Amen. What man cannot do, God do it for your people. Amen. And let your name be glorified. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. God the Son. Amen. And God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.